Keystone species concept was meant to show that this particular species when taken out of the ecosystem will result in the disintegration of the community or the natural balance will be destroyed. For example, we can mention one which is close to, to us in a situation in a forest near rice fields. People used to kill snake dahil they're afraid of being bitten. But if you eliminate the snakes, a lot of other species will be affected. For example, the rats would increase in population. Affected in yung snake eating birds in the forest. So if you take totally the snakes, something will happen to the other organisms which depend on this particular animal. Another example would be a certain species of bat which uh, pollinates a durian tree. So in the absence of this bat, we may not have durians. So in terms of the production of durian and the successful pollination of durian, you need a particular species of bat which pollinates it. So something will happen if you have a web of life. They're connected lahat. You take something out of it, of the web, something will happen to the web. So that's the idea of a keystone. For many people, certain species may not necessarily have an impact on the environment, but if you look closely, just a keystone species may be a single individual or a group of the same species. The Philippine eagle is a critically endangered bird. It can be uh, considered an important part of the ecosystem. Its presence as a top predator would have significant impact on the lower animals of the hierarchy. So, kung tanggalin mo yung Philippine eagle in a, in a class, for example, the natural population of the food items of the Philippine eagle will no longer have the Philippine eagle to check its population. Probably the population of some of these prey items would increase and would affect other inhabitants of the golden uh, crown flying fox. They are very important in the proliferation of tropical forest because as fruit eaters they also ingest seeds and in their movement in the natural habitat they tend to disperse the seeds of the fruit that they ate so dispersal of this important fruit fruiting trees would be significantly affected if you take out the golden crown plants in the region. And also the hornbills are important uh, keystone in the forest ecosystem plus uh, some other animals and some other not only animals but even other plants will depend on hornbills to help disperse also their seeds. For our endangered uh, wildlife in the Philippines, the major causes of our species are the loss of deforestation. So most of our endemic birds, for example, are dependent on the natural forest. So if you take up the forest, you deprive them of their habitats where they have uh, refuse, they have water, they have food. Okay, so deforestation, which results to habitat loss, is the uh, major cause of endangerment. So other factors that lead to endangerment, we have illegal wildlife trade, illegal hunting. Yes, there are always uh, 
chances of saving the threatened species or endangered species. As, as long as we know what the factors are responsible for their endangerment, then we know what to address in terms of conservation. So, kasi alam na natin na habitat pala yung importante. And then, let's save whatever is left of their habitats. There are thousands of their species which are dependent on forest. So, paano mo sila masave kung yung forest mismo ang binoldos, kasi kukunin ang lupa, ang mining, ang lupa, transfer. So, without even killing them directly, just getting the the forest and the soil, we already kill them. We used to have more than 70% of forest in the Philippines in the early 1900s. No? 70%, again, less than 10% na lang. So, paubos na ang forest. Sabihin, yung mga nakatira sa forest na nangawai that, ay paubos na rin. Dahil kung 70% na bawasan ng 60%, 10% na lang yung natitira, saan napunta yung ibang hayo? Dahil nawala ng lugar. Of course, siguro, nawawala na rin. Hindi lang natin alam. So, if we, for example, lag the whole of the Southern Sierra Madre, hindi lang baha at saka flash flood yung aabuti ng mga tao dyan sa Quezon at saka sa Aurora, kundi yung biodiversity ay mawawala. Kasi hindi, wala silang lilipatan. Diba? So, ganun ang ano, yung, yung chances of survival natin ng ating mga wildlife species, especially yung sa Pilipinas lang nakikita, talagang dependent sa forest. So, um, in order to save them, save their habitat. Whatever is left, dahil paubos na. So, dito nakikita mo that the, the wildlife species are the best indicators of the environment. Kung nanganganib yung karamihan ng mga wildlife natin, ibig sabihin, masama ang sitwasyon ng ating environment. Sa government natin, we have the agencies and the agency are mandated to protect our environment and natural resources and the NR. So, kung hindi natin successfully protected yung ano, ating uh, natural resources, of course, we can point to the NR. Bakit? Nangyayari yan. For example, DNR is mandated to protect but also utilize. So, may lagging din sila na sinisupportahan may mining. Pero, they are also mandated to protect. So, ano yung pinapaboran nila na yan? So, kung nagkaproblema sa protection, then probably, ang main agency na matuturo natin dyan is DNR. But, everybody has his role in protecting the that we have. So everybody has its own role. Yung NGOs may role, yung government may role, yung mga isidyante may role. Dahil kahit hindi aarkat sa bundok ng mga isidyante, pero if they are aware and they help raise the awareness of others, doing things related somehow to conservation, like even pag ano, alaga ng kasura, hindi uh, concern about how to segregate, how to dispose, ano na yan eh, nakakatulong na yan sa conservation. can be starting with your community, just being conscious of the basura na, from your community, just be conscious of the kinds of food and the kinds of materials that you you take is contributing already. And if you learn or you have a certain knowledge of the problem already, then share it with the others. Turuan mo yung iba. Ito alam mo na na, ay ganito pa lang problema na natin wildlife, uh, conservation nila, then probably, kung may barkada ka, inform them. Invite them to be more active. Yan. So, kanya-kanyang role tayo. The local government can come up with ordinances uh, related sa protection and conservation. We can involve the Senate and the Congress to pass laws that will protect the environment. So, the general public can have their own simple or small ways to help conserve. It doesn't have to be directly conserving the habitat and the living area. Being aware, being educated about the problem can already help 
Because one of our biggest problem in the Philippines in terms of biodiversity conservation is the lack of knowledge ng mga tao. Kasi kung titingnan mo, alam ba nila na mas mayaman tayo kasi UK and buong Europe in terms of wildlife? In terms of wildlife, layo nila. No? We are probably the richest in endemic biodiversity on a per unit area basis.